Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have my police appointment for the renewal of my study permit here in Oslo, Norway. So when you come to Norway as a student, you will have to get a permit which is valid for one year. Let me show you my previous one. So this is my last permit and as you can see, it was uh, valid till 31st August 2021. What that means is, what that, what that means is, I cannot leave Norway after 31st August. I mean, I won't have a permit, right? So it will be a little complicated to come back. <coughs> so it's good to get it renewed. And uh, my appointment is today with the police. Let me show you what all documentation you might need. What you will have to do is go to UDI and uh, make an application and pay a certain amount. I think it's around 5,000 NOx and book an appointment date. And then you will get a checklist and these are all the documents that you will need. So a passport and all the copies, a signed letter from the application portal, um, documentation that you have su sufficient funds. That's like 126,000 right now. And if you are paying a tuition fee, then uh, you have to document that you have that much amount in your bank account or uh, or if you have a work contract that you can make up for that amount. You need bank statements, um, form of study progression. This will be provided by your college. A full, yeah, this is just your uh, admission offer and it's, it's just this. So this is the checklist and then you will need all the documentation. So I have set up all my documents here my my passport my udi form bank details my work contract and uh, this is what you get from your university you just need to send them this letter and they will fill it for you yes these are all the documents you need and you, you also need your passport and your uh, older residence permit which I got right here and let's go. One thing that you should keep in mind is you cannot, you cannot uh, work as a student or work part time if you don't have a residence permit. So I recently heard of somebody who came in like March or something and then he did not get his appointment in time and he did not have a residence permit. So now when he got his job in August, he couldn't work because he wasn't allowed to and you will need this residence permit to open a bank account and do other official stuff. So be smart and get an appointment as soon as you come to Norway. Oh, by the way, if, if you're coming to Norway for the first time and uh, you're not renewing, but you're actually applying for the permit for the very first time, the process is entirely the same. I'm gonna show you how to actually go to UDI and make an application as well. But the rest of the process is exactly the same. You'll get a checklist, get all the necessary documents in place and show up at the police station. At the police station, they'll uh, take your fingerprints and uh, process other official information. But yeah, so the process is exactly the same. Right now I'm heading to my university because I'm not sure if they need my transcripts or my grades for the renewal. But yeah, I'll just get a <laughs> get a copy just to be safe. I'll go and get a printout. It's uh, around 8.30 right now and my appointment is at 10. So I think I got enough time. I'll see you there.
just met this lovely lady going right there. You recognize me off of YouTube. Getting there, lads. <laughs> All right. Just met Anna on her way to her internship. Well, it's good to be back here. And right there is my office. It's quickly gonna take a print out and leave. Give it to me. Yeah, got my grades here. Not gonna show you my, what my grades look like. <laughs> But let's All see. Right. Time to leave. Off to Groenland. Not for shopping, but because the police headquarters is right by the Groenland Tiebana or the metro station. Okay, I'm off the Groenland station. It is behind me. Just gonna take a ride from here. And then, I mean, whenever you're here, you, you're gonna go on Google Maps anyway, so <laughs> I'll just take you there. That's the tax office. That's the police headquarters. This is where you wanna be at. You can already see a queue over there. I guess. I won't be recording inside and yeah so I'll just go in and get my stuff done then I'll come back and share my experience with you guys. Alright done with the appointment, took like 15 minutes not more than that. Uh, yeah so when you go in they'll tell you like right here in at the reception they'll tell you which counter to go to and uh, at the counter they'll take your passport your documents quickly verify or screen them see everything's okay they'll then take your picture your fingerprints and uh, signature yeah <laughs> once that's done you're free to go and uh, the residence permit will come to your mail address but if anybody asks you can um, you can tell them your duf number and then they can see that your application is under processing so even though they did not give me any receipt or something like a form of acknowledgement that we have received your we have received your oh god i hurry on this one Oof, nice and sunny outside so yeah, as I was saying, although they did not give me any receipt for acknowledgement or something, you can just share your DUF number if anybody asks and they can see your application is under processing and you're good to go. Oh, such a pretty day. So we'll end this video here. I'm gonna head off to my internship now. Uh, yes, I'm gonna make a video on that pretty soon. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.